it's a travesty what they are proposing for this uh, to put this facility here. It really just doesn't make any sense. The CRD uh, could be pursuing something much higher and much better. This site is too small. It is smaller than even what the CRD was looking for. So you know what that means. That means full build out to the edges, probably higher and taller. I mean, how does this integrate into a neighborhood? They stated in 2010 is that they were going to make it technically, socially and environmentally uh, sustainable and, and viable. They were going to rank on that criteria, but that didn't happen. We need to have 21st century solutions and not try and build upon last century solutions. What is the uh, full financial analysis? What is the business case for this? What are the full operational costs? The CRD just passed themselves a bylaw um, uh, that allows them to, to borrow another hundred million dollars. You go out and buy a car and then decide and discuss about it whether it's going to be the right car for you? If you take the document that's up there and you reanalyze it, um, the cost of this isn't 780 million dollars. It's not the 783 million dollars that was stated in uh, September last year. Um, their math shows the cost is 1.8 billion dollars. This is a bigger issue than just Esquimalt. We have not found uh, the best practice and the highest and best uh, choice. Go on the computer and look at biosolid sites. They are not in the middle of a municipality. They are not in a residential area. This topic is obviously uh, deeply concerning to both Esquimalt and Vic West. It has been a completely flawed public consultation process. What exactly are we building and where are we building it? Because it seems to me eight years into the process, we are not clear today on what we're doing or where we're doing it and what the best solutions are. This project, as far as I'm concerned, isn't going to happen. And you're going to have to put me in jail before it does.